Welcome to the Kuala Lumpur Global Technopreneurship Challenge. Today, I would like to introduce the event to you, and I would like to talk about what's this event all about, quickly talk about the grand challenges for engineering, and then talk a little bit about the uh, event specifics. So the Kuala Lumpur Global Technopreneurship Challenge, or KLGTC for short, is a three-month-long technopreneurial course that is offered by the Technopreneurship Institute. It's offered in collaboration with Taylor's University in Malaysia, as well as the global lead consultants. And it's to provide a platform and opportunity for people from all over the world to collaborate and add value through trying to address the global, the grand challenges for engineering in a way that makes business sense. The pinnacle of the event will be the finals at Taylor's University in Malaysia on the 5th and 6th of December of 2016. A little bit about the grand challenges for engineering. The National Academy of Engineering at the United States identified 14 grand challenges that engineers and technologists need to address within the 21st century for us to make it collectively as a human race in a sustainable manner into the 22nd uh, century. And addressing these grand challenges required a coordinated, innovative effort from everyone. And KLGTC is an attempt to achieve that. The grand challenges for engineering are in a number of areas that include energy, security, health, environment, and also life enrichment. They involve things such as making solar energy economical and also advanced personalized learning and reverse engineer the human brain. In future lectures, we will talk about them in details and how they represent not only challenges, but really business opportunities for all of us to work towards to unlock the values that is within these grand challenges. The kickoff of the course will happen today on July 18th, 2016. And the registration will end on October 31st. So any time between today and October 31st, you are more, most welcome to come and, and, and register for the course and join the big number of students from all over the world who are trying to address the grand challenges for engineering while uh, creating business value for themselves and also for the communities within which they work. We expect you to form teams of three to five members and work together on one of the 14 grand challenges that's identified by the National Academy of Engineering. Each member must perform daily brain rewiring and also watch the lectures and answer the quizzes. So this is an individual, these are individual tasks. Uh, brain rewiring is an interesting activity in which we are asking each and every one of you to record and report the five things that, they are, that you are grateful for on a daily basis. The science behind that is very simple. Our brains are wired to detect negative things. That's why it's very easy for us to report things that are not going right in our lives. But in order for us to see challenges as opportunities, we need to rewire, to retrain our brains to see the goods that's happening to us as well. And in order to achieve this, the exercise of brain rewiring, of mentioning five things that you are grateful for on a daily basis, is going over time to create new uh, pathways in your brains that will enable you to detect and identify value and eventually be able to capture it and deliver it through the event and through the course. Each team must deliver all the assignment 
that, we, that, is, that are requested from the team uh, on time. So all participants who perform their daily brain rewiring, who watch all the lectures and answer the quizzes, and who belong to teams that delivers all the assignments that are required from them, they're going to receive a certificate of completion from the Technopreneurship Institute. So that's an indication that you've completed the course. Then the projects are going to be judged against a number of criteria that involve how well does the proposed project address the, the chosen grand challenge, the originality and innovativeness of the business model, the project needs to be technologically feasible, economically viable, desirable by the, by the, by the customer, and also there need to be some clear market segment, segmentation and identification of the market segment that will be interested in that uh, project. And also there need to be positive or at least neutral environmental impact. After, address, after uh, taking into account all these criteria, the top 10 teams will be invited to the finals in Kuala Lumpur. The teams may attend in person or may attend through technology, through Skype and other forms, and we will keep you posted on uh, the details of that. The winners of the competition will be given a significant amount of money as a grant to help them take their project and idea a step closer to market. So the champion will be receiving 15,000 Malaysian ringgit. The first runner up will be receiving 9,000 Malaysian ringgit, while the second runner up will be receiving 3,000 uh, Malaysian ringgit. We also have two awards. One is for the best poster and the other one for the best failure award. So we would like people to take risk push the limit, and eventually if they fail and they learn something from that failure, we would like to recognize this. Uh, as you can see here, this is the KLGTC schedule showing you the lectures that we will be having uh, starting today. And uh, we will, after the welcome, we will talk about how are you going to build a, a highly effective dream team. We will talk about uh, CDIO, which is a thinking process that will be the basis for how we do things in this event. Then we will talk about the grand challenges as business opportunities, and then the technopreneurial ecosystem, then achieving your breakthrough, and the wrapping up. And finally, we'll have the final uh, round on the 5th and 6th of December in Kuala Lumpur. With this, I wish you an amazing time highly successful event, and I look forward to seeing you in the next lecture.